Hey, it's Dr. Ganatra, and have you ever been doing endo and it's just so hard to get the tooth numb? It's a hot tooth. How do you numb it up? So I'm going to have Dr. Gilbert walk us through intrapulpal anesthesia. So how do you anesthetize that tooth that you've opened up? You're doing endo on it. Dr. Gilbert's going to walk us through exactly how he does it. Hopefully it'll help you too. So we're going to go ahead, make a little more progress. And right there, I actually feel the progression where the resistance changes and I sort of break into the pulp chamber and you can see the little waxy substance that's come up there. Now what I like to do the second I get into a pulp chamber, take the mirror one, is I wanna just do a little test. So I'll say, okay ma'am, do you feel that at all? And she'll say, oh yes, I do, I feel that. Okay, that's exactly what I was mentioning earlier. There's always a chance you could feel a little something. I'm gonna take care of that for you. And the way that we do that is with an intrapulpal injection. So what I have here is a carpule of local anesthetic with a number 30 gauge, but a short needle. So this is gonna be perfect for this. So what I'm gonna be doing is a pressurized injection. So the injection's gonna come under force directly into the pulp, and it will give a shock wave through that pulp and take away any, any more sensitivity. So I'm gonna tell the patient, okay ma'am, I'm gonna place a little medicine into your tooth. So you're gonna feel me for just a second. So I get it into position here. I sort of feel around and I get it to fall into the chamber like that, see that? So here I'm not quite there because I only have just that little penetration, just the size of the number four round burst so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and allow this to kind of penetrate. I'm gonna get in. Patient might feel that just a touch, but typically not a lot. I'm gonna say, okay, on three, you're gonna feel me for just a second and then everything's gonna disappear. Now, I personally like to bring my left hand over like this. I used to only do it with my right thumb and I've developed a little bit of an issue with my right thumb. So I'm gonna bring both of these and it's gonna allow me to give a good amount of pressure. So again, bring it in, into the chamber. I feel it sort of sink in and then I'm gonna bring both thumbs over. I'm gonna tell them on three, one, two, and three, and you give it, and you give pressure. And that's gonna really take the, num the numbness to the next level. And then always go back. First thing I'm gonna do is confirm with the patient that they feel better. So I'll put it right back in. Sometimes I'll really be a little more aggressive to make sure patient's fine now. So the intrapulpal is huge. It's most effective when you haven't completely unroofed the chamber. It allows that pressure to be exerted across the entire pulpal tissue. All right, I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, make sure you like the video, comment, and also subscribe to the channel. And more importantly, check out Dr. Gilbert's free endo training, where he's gonna go over some of his tips on access opening, finding those canals that are really tough to find, and how do you actually do more endo effectively and predictably in your practice? Totally free training. Check it out. It's in the captions. We'll see you on that.